Shepard here, working to save you some embarrassment. Uh, there's something that people who have higher IQs and know a little bit about statistics uh, find to be very, uh, I don't know, frustrating. Um, it just kind of is a, it sets off an alarm bell that the person with whom they're speaking uh, doesn't know much about statistics or critical thinking. Uh, so this will help, kind of help you. If somebody says to you, the average height of a male is five feet, 10 inches tall. If you then respond and say, uh, uh, my uncle is actually six foot four. That shows that you don't understand statistics, averages, means, medians, that kind of thing. And you don't have to really get into it in great depth, but just know that if somebody says the average height is such and such, that is the average. Maybe there's somebody who's eight feet tall. Maybe there's someone who's four foot six. But the average, when you take everybody and then you divide it, let's say you have 10 people, you add up all of their heights and then you divide that by 10, that tells you the average. Now just know that you would get a very different number if you took 12 random people, or not even random, you take any group of 12, and if you remove the shortest man and the tallest man, and then do an average of the remaining 10, that will be very different. Think about that for a different thing other than height. Think about it for income or for net worth. If you take Elon Musk and me and a person on welfare, the average is going to be way higher than my net worth because Elon really slants it a lot in that direction. I don't know what he's worth this, these days, but let's say 200 billion. So between the person who has zero and the person who has 200, that would be 100 billion average. And then you add me in there and eh, I'm not gonna move it much. But if I don't have 100 billion, by the way, I shouldn't be discussing financial stuff, but it's the truth, I don't have 100 billion bucks. If you remove Elon and you remove the person who has zero, then the number is much, much different than 100 billion. What I have is way less than that. I wasn't gonna tell you if it was more or less, but I guess I will. I have less than a $100 billion net worth. So keep in mind when somebody is telling you something, keep those little tips in mind. There is a difference. Okay, now I'm going to change the scenario just a little bit. I'm gonna include another group. I'm gonna include women. And I'm gonna change numbers just to make it easy. Let's say that the average woman, her height is five feet tall and the average man is six feet tall. If you say to me, hey, Shepard, there's a woman in that room over there that you can't see, guess how tall she is? Well, if I don't have any other information, probably my best bet is to say, eh, I bet she's about five feet tall. And if they said, and there's a man in there with her, guess how tall he is? Probably six feet tall. Now that's not making a very solid judgment based on the evidence, that's just a guess. So that's not solid. That is very possible, not very possible, but there is a possibility, a reasonable possibility that the woman is six foot two in that room and the man is four foot 10. That could be, that's not a ridiculous, crazy idea. No, that, that could be. Probability wise, it's low. So if we, had a thousand different rooms and we looked in them, uh, we probably wouldn't have 950 rooms that the woman was six foot two and the man was five foot or four foot 10. However, if I say to you, I am wanting to put together a team of people who are able to walk upright under irrigation pipes that are five foot six inches off the ground, should I go probably and recruit among women or among men? Well, it would just make sense that I should probably start directing my uh, help wanted ads toward women because there's a higher probability. Now, there could be a woman who applies that says, hey, I hear there's a great job of walking under pipes. Uh, I'm six foot six. Uh, am I right for this? I'd say, oh, no, you're, you're, you're not right. We're looking for people who are less than five foot six, but you know, thanks anyway. And there's no offense to her. There's also a 
possibility that a guy would come and say, hey, I saw this in my wife's feed and uh, I, I'm actually five foot four and I would like to walk under pipes. And I go, oh, great. You're perfect for this. Um, so it, it, you can't just say all men will not work out for this job or all women will work out for it. It just kind of gives you a rough probability of it. It's probably where I ought to direct it. I think the the big point here is that all of this comes back to a very important concept that we don't judge people based on various groups. He's a, a Jewish male from Paraguay. So therefore, uh, I'm not going to give him a chance. Well, no, he could be great. We are going to judge each human being based on their individual traits, characteristics, abilities, etc. So yeah, I'm not going to put my, you know, for my person walking under pipes, I'm not going to say I want a diverse group of people, some of whom are tall and some of are who are short, and I am going to market equally to basketball teams and uh, assuming women are five feet tall and to women. No, I'm going to be an intelligent, rational, critical thinker, and I'm going to probably market toward women um, or jockeys or something like that. Hey, retired jockeys, you want a new job if you're not racing horses anymore? Um, hey, that'd be a good good group to go for. Does this uh, does this make sense? What am I missing? And I, I'm not really interested in you know political correctness um, or social correctness or whatever. This is more of a, a science based thing. This is kind of a this is thinking uh, thinking and calculating and and considering things. Kind of sitting at the adults table. So you have to, you know, kind of be smart and think critically about it and want truth, even if truth hurts. Um, so yeah, let me know if I'm getting any part of this wrong or if you have any questions uh, and we'll go from there.